Good evening, everyone. <laughs> welcome to, uh, welcome back to Valhalla. We've, uh, got some fun for you tonight, as we might Ooh. actually be finishing the game. That's, that's true. That's supposed to be my camera coming in to add that, because I did this very quickly. Uh, just made a scene where I could have the camera on. Would help if the camera was, uh, there it comes. There we are. There we go. It, it looks a little less awkward now. Anyways. <laughs> uh, <laughs> slightly less awkward. Uh, <laughs> but my general thought was, if this is going to be the last week, I was meaning to show off the, uh, physical edition of Valhalla that I had gotten from limited run games, and this might be the last chance to, uh, do such a thing. So... It's a, it's, it's a very shiny box, if you couldn't tell. You've, you've got a copy of this yourself, right? I do. Yeah, see? You can it's a, it sits on my shelf, unopened, like so many of my limited run game purchases. Uh, well, it's limited edition, of course. All right, let me close that back up. And then, of course, this is uh, one, of a, one of a pair. So you can see kind of the edge here of where the characters from... Uh, read-only memories 2064 would come in and join mm -hmm. and then some more nice art of Jill on the back all of our wonderful sponsors for the game what we have here on the ratings sexual stream themes strong language use of alcohol and use of tobacco <laughs> yeah it checks out yeah. Uh, inside I, this is the pin I've got, the fridge magnet. I don't know if yours is the same one. I don't know. I've never opened my box. But but for me, it's Dorothy. And, That's a good choice. And she lives on my fridge. Uh, I've also, I'm also using this box because I went and bought uh, the CD Ooh. for the game, which I think may have been a Japanese import. Huh. Yeah, that's, uh, that's Japanese all up in the uh, fine print. So. Here we go. No, I, I wanted the OST, and I think it came with some other stuff as well. So. Oh, nice. Just to show off. All right, that's not. So is that a booklet, or is it just a just a that, dad? That's just an insert. Yeah, I thought it might be a booklet. Yeah. They're keeping they're keeping the theme consistent at least, but uh, I think they have yeah. a couple different artists there. Uh. It may have been this that was after this official art book. Ooh. The city. I think this is that same text from the opening scroll. Mm-hmm. We are getting the jukebox mu music in there. That's good. Okay. These will have been the cover arts for the Switch and PS4 versions of the game. Ah. Oh, look. Data. Hell yeah. G getting in on uh, the Red Comet. I think... Yeah, there must be a couple different guest artists in this. Looks like it. Jill Stingray. So, we learned at one point her full name. Yeah, I'm, I'm blanking on what her middle name is, mm -hmm. but I do remember I do remember hearing that. Yeah. And we're getting a bunch of different, uh, or we're getting all the uh, sprites as options. Looks like some concept art as well. Actually, mm -hmm. like in the Automel look to her there. Dana Zane, mm -hmm. Dorothy Hayes. Great expressions there. Look at look at that look at that perfect just '90s anime cry face. It, like she like she stepped out of an episode of Project A Code. Just wonderful. I was about to say, speaking of '90s anime. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm not entirely paying attention to where I'm aiming. Oh, there's Drunk Alma. I don't think we saw much of that one. That's in this? That piece of art is in here? <laughs> See, I, I thought that was just, uh, I thought I got that off of horny Twitter. It's, uh, it's no, it's official horny art uh, authorized by the people who made the game. Yeah. You should uh, check the blog sometime because they um, they endorse a lot. 
Yeah, I'm not. I'm, I'm not that surprised to learn that. To be honest, that yeah, yeah it sounds right. Mm -hmm. It's like, hey, hey, guys, you should check this all out on their official blog. Ooh, there's uh, some beta versions of uh, or beta promo. What's the word I'm looking for? Rough draft. Yeah, rough draft versions of them. They had a playable version of it of the game with uh, like this version of uh, of Kiramiki that I think is just on Ichio still. Hmm. So if you wanted to go play the, that version of this. Hmm. Streaming Sean looking very nice. Beatrice and Albert. Or no, Beatrice Albert. Sorry. That's, n that's not the full name for deal. Julian Natalie String Stingray. There we are. Age 27, birthday June 27. I think we got to see her. They did a nice uh, happy birthday poster for her a couple days ago. Oh, it's um, we just missed Streaming Chan's birthday. Oh. Oh, and Stella was, of course, born on Mega Christmas. Yeah. I've seen both pieces of this art in, like, the Steam uh, marketing. Yes. Those really go off with the blue. I've definitely I've definitely seen the blue one, which I think was... it's. I, I remember... Actually, before I knew anything about this game, I think because it had Hall in the title, I assumed it was set at a convention or something. Ah, okay. Yeah. Well, that's not as uh, I. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't have much context for it other than like the title and a little bit of art, which mostly just told me it stars a lady. It's it's not far from the truth, but the hall and the name is more of a backronym. Mm hmm. They they had that weird idea first, and then started making things up, and then that developed their right. interview with the artist and the writer. There you go. Uh, ooh. And then the sketchy version of, I think, the main piece of art. I had, th yeah. I had this one as a wallpaper for a while. Yeah. And then uh, some details about Nirvana. It'll come out one day. One day. Yeah. No rush. Like, so, so, like, all they have to do is take less time between announcement and release than Chinese democracy. And they're okay. Yeah. I I think the other part of it is uh, mental health. Oh, that's with, fine. With regards to the rare. So, you know, yeah, take, take all the time you need, though. I, I am very much in favor of, of people taking breaks because uh, they're worried about their own well-being. Let's yeah. do that. It's good yeah. for you. So, And then this is just a poster version of uh, one of those covers. A, a different CD, which I think just has all the same tracks. This one, I think, was included with uh, the limited run. That's a, that, that seems likely, given that it's the uh, the little like you know, cardboard yeah. sleeve design, not yeah. a not a plastic case. Yeah, and also has, uh, three more songs than that CD does. Oh, fan ooh, ooh, oh, the rare the rare non Japanese bonus track. Mm. And I guess this is a throw in from Limited Run themselves. Yeah, yeah. Whenever whenever they put out a game, they always give it a little like uh, trading card. Nice. Collect them all. That's, that's where the real money is. Exactly. And then there's the uh, Switch game itself. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. I mean, I... Oh, good. I haven't lost the Switch game. <laughs> I mean, you, you laugh, but I, I do remember that sometimes they'll like distribute things that aren't made, and they'll note, if you don't buy this, it will not spoil your complete limited run games collection. So, you know. <laughs> they figured out who their market is. Yeah. It's, uh, it sounds... I'm hearing recently that's getting them into more trouble. Uh, the way they are marketing things. There, there are some unhappy customers. Oh, I don't, I don't doubt it. I remember. Uh, I feel like that happens periodically, especially when it's like. Uh, I remember, the, I remember the one that seemed to inspire a lot of kvetching was they did, uh, they did a thing that was like a bunch of these old um, Bill and Ted games that are generally considered to be not very good. Uh, I admittedly just, I found it funny. Uh, and I was very amused at some point. I was like, now, 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 if you're going to talk about video game preservation, even bad things deserve to be preserved. Yeah. 
Uh, did you know gaming is in my uh, YouTube algorithm these mm. days? So they were just telling me about this weird DS game called A Boy and His Blob. Uh, yeah, I ordered that one. Yeah. So there's a there's a a archi- archivist version of that that you could download now. Dang. All right. Are we still good on everything here? I will sw- switch you over to the better view for yourself. Uh, share screen. And turn off my webcam. The game did just crash while we were doing that, so we'll see if anything changed here. So we're probably going to get to the end of this game, but I did want to briefly backtrack because we were robbed of content. Mm-hmm. Uh, we went through the effort of getting Donovan to quit his job. Uh-huh. So we should get the payoff for that. Absolutely. So we're going we're going to do that and then uh so we're going to basically replay this day and then skip back ahead to when we had money and had al- when we already pay our rent off. Yeah. I'm n- I'm just going to skip right forward t- to the divergent point. And yeah, so I figured something was wrong uh, and took the time last week in the last week to go and fix that, which basically involved um, going into the save files and switching ones to zeros. Oh, there's our guy. Oh, the hell hole. Perfect. He's here for his usual. And we know what that is. One, two, three, four. One, two. One, two, three, four. And five, six, seven, eight. A big beer for Jonathan. Donathan. Mm-hmm. And we didn't talk about who'd voice who, but uh, <laughs> Donovan's here, guy. All right. <laughs> this seems right. You know, kid, life after quitting has been quite nice. There we go. I have enough money should I ever retire, but I can also do what I want. I could even start that hairdressing business like I've always wanted to. I, I'm expecting, like, his bald head to glean at that moment. I should say the newspaper is pretty much the same without him. Hey, Mr. Donovan, this is a stray thought, but are you German by chance? I wasn't born there, but I spent most of my life in Germany, yeah. Did something tip you off? Well, when you came here a couple of weeks ago, you mentioned that you that you do certain stuff while, you, while drunk. Speaking badly of your investors and spouting racial slurs in German. The last one stuck with me. It felt too random. I don't remember that. But yeah, I spent a good chunk of my life in Germany. My pop was a car salesman and my mother an economy teacher. Ah, uh, yes. German engineering. One mystery less. Glad to see this hell hole is still in one piece. The BTC has been going ape shit closing bars lately. Oh yeah, that... Yesterday, they closed one that served as a key part of a drug trafficking ring. And last week, they closed three small bars that served as illegal chicken restaurants. Hmm. Not to mention, there are like a hundred people who have BTC certificates, but never use them. Instead, they keep those credentials around to stop police from raiding their homes or warehouses. This is starting to sound familiar, so I'm wondering if that that was the end of it. uh, we definitely ran. We definitely did this last time. Yeah. I don't know about you, but it's obvious to me that some restructuring will begin at the BTC after this whole thing. Man, shit ran deeper than I thought. I know news outlets talk about that. <sighs> All right, kid, let's try a moon blast now. Come again? Hey, even I have to break the routine from time to time. Moon blast? That's a new one for him. So maybe we. You want to, like, start skipping ahead a little? I don't know if we're going to run anything, uh... 
Yeah, that, new that, with Mr. Donovan. That may have just been all it was was uh, him telling a, telling us he's going to start a hairdresser. Which, if that's the case, that's fine. That was still worth it to go back and do. We earned that bit of dialogue. Yeah, man. we did. Yeah, I mean, we got a man to abandon his abandon his employees for completely selfish and unneeded reasons. Like J. Jonah Jameson uh, putting on the Spider-Man suit and swinging out the window. Absolutely. Now, what's all that reckless about? Um, so brought you here. Loom coming in here, blue hair, yep. big tits. Interview. Sing on her. Family, tits and ass. King class. Yep, yep that's all looking familiar. A wife yep. that's cheating on him. He's, yep. in, he's in an open relationship, air quotes. Pile driver. <laughs> I, I probably will just uh, reload our save from before. Yeah. Because th we're likely done here. Oh, I am... There we go. All right. No reason to stay. Goodbye. Alright. So that was that save. To check out. But we also were robbed of the secret third character. Who's over in this save now. After, All right. I, after I changed a 1 to a 0. Bleeding Jane for Stella. I, I do technically... I would just brush past this, but we do have to serve correctly or we'll get a game over. Yep. And then we can return to uh, our f future save with all the good uh, ending bits. That's something I didn't actually uh, mess with at all, was all the endings that we worked towards. Hmm. So... So that that we all earned legitimately. With our own blood, sweat, and tears. Yeah. Rantini. Again. Ba -da -da -ba -da -ba -da. Classic. Let's see. Classic. Beer. When you drink it, it plays Classic by Adrian Hurwitz. <laughs> Gervitz? Gervitz. Is that about to... Da -da. Please come again. Oh, hello. Excuse me. Is this the Rad Sheba bar? <clears throat> uh... Yep. And I just got the achievement for uh, a cat. A strange cat? What was it? A different breed of cat. I see. Hello? Somebody fell for that one? Yeah, but we prefer to call it Valhalla. What can I get you? Let's try the sugar rush. Certainly. And I think in the course of looking into uh, why we didn't get this character, I've discovered that all of them are from read-only memories. <laughs> so. yeah, that sounds about right. Sugar. Here. Thanks. You don't look like you're around here, from he around here, miss. Your art style looks noticeably different from everyone else's. Call me Jess. I'm from Neo San Francisco, actually. I came here to see the mega Chris to see the mega Christmas I hear so much about. I do really need to know who, whose idea was to make a acronym for NSFW, and which came first, that joke or Neo San Francisco? Dig around. I'm sure we can figure it out. Yeah. I've always wondered why it's called Neo San Francisco. <laughs> is it like Neo Tijuana, or is it more like New Mexico? Wait, there's a New Mexico. Yeah. Neo Mexico. Still, that's 
a good question. What tipped you off that I'm not for around here? I don't know, uh, bat-eared lady. Yep. The fact that you're a hybrid. Really? I thought Glitch City was the world's great genetic engineering mecha. No, that's, that's androids and robots. Mm -hmm. no, not, uh, not messing with genes. Every time you hear about a breakthrough in genetic engineering, it most likely came from here. That's true. That's all true, if you have the money. Glitch City has some awesome advances, advances, but many of them are gated behind giant walls of cash. Like, gene mo like genetic modifications or prosthetics. Prosthetics, that was the word I was looking for. Is it really that bad? Let's say I wanted a treatment to change my hair color to yellow and my eyes to amber. Simple stuff, two shots. But just for the hair, I'd need to save minimum wage checks, paychecks, for 10 years. Not only that, insurers still refuse to cover genetic modifications, even the medical ones. Weird. I mean... Nowadays, genetic modifications are pretty common everywhere else. I don't understand much about it myself. I think the exorbitant import fees levied by the city are a deciding factor in the whole pricing situation. Or maybe it has to do with how devaluated our currency is. Or maybe it's both those things and then some. I see. Geopolitical concerns. Inflation. <laughs> oh, but look at me rambling. Can I get you anything else? Hmm. Let's try the Brantini. Sure. All the things that you get when you don't know what uh, you want. They just kind of look interesting. Uh, all aged and mixed. Brantini. Here. Uh, I've, def I've definitely gotten things at a bar based on a catchy title originally. Thanks. It's interesting, though. Hybrids are w well received around here. It might have something to do with the hybrids usually having lots of money. Oh, they're there furries. We go. Ah, there we are. I guess it could be an example of how the higher class is establishing beauty standards or something. It will make me a more likely target for mugging, then. Everyone is a likely target for mugging. You just stick out a bit more than the rest. You do well to remain vigilant anyways. Thanks for the advice. Hey, mind if I ask you something? Go ahead, no problem. Are cat boomers hybrids? Hmm. Nah, I don't think so. While there is genetic modification going on, it's more akin to being born with six fingers. The side effects of a treatment, if you will. Really? Because there seem to be countries where cat boomers are considered hybrids. True, but think about it for a second. Let's say you got a treatment for a skin condition and the side effect was getting scaly skin. There's hybrids of scales of skin, but your skin is a side effect. Is a side effect. The scales might just be dead skin. Even if legally the scaly skin could make you a hybrid, you're not one necessarily. Even if it's a law, laws can be wrong too. Yeah, you're right. Sorry about asking so many things. Oh, I don't mind. I guess you really don't see many hybrids around, huh? Oh, right. Could you give me directions to the Artemis Will Mall? Sure. Let me grab a piece of paper. Let's see. Turn right. When you first see a, f a frat house, here you are. Thanks a lot. <clears throat> Goodbye. Please come again. And then we're all done. Uh, yeah. And then we get to go move on to. All right. Well, we get to break fuckboys back and then move on. And not have enough money to pay rent. Your rent contract is now invalid. Please vacate the place by February or discuss renewal with your landlord. Jill couldn't pay, pay her rent. This will distract her at work. Have a nice day. Well, how, um,. How unfortunate. Anyways, let's go to the uh, good timeline. Yep, <laughs> we didn't fuck up. Oh. 
Jill will have a roof on her head uh, for another month. This sense of relief will make sure she focuses at work. Have a very nice day. We have a roof over our heads for another month. Yay. Happy day. Friday the 30th. There we go. And we finished all that before we normally go live. So, yeah. Nice little uh, sidetrack. Yeah. Grand Slam Fighters crowns a new heavyweight cha champion by Lana Smithy. Glitch City's most popular pro wrestling promotion crowned a new heavyweight champion yesterday, with Giant Yusuke taking the gold from fellow Japanese wrestler Justin Liger. After a previous champion, 6'6 six, six American Kid, was forced to relinquish the title due to a, a head injury, GSF decided to hold a tournament to find the new title award holder. The match ended after an epic 30-minute bout, with Giant Yusuke applying a massive German suplex for the three-count. During the interview with AE, Giant Yusuke told us through a translator that he's waiting for 6'6 six, six American Kid to recover. I won't rest until I beat him clean. So exciting. If only I understood what's going on. <laughs> well, you see. Yeah. Wrestling is anime. Bra wrestling. After the Great Earthquake, sal salvage agents are the new rage. By Lana Smitty. The Great Earthquake that sank large portions of the world five years ago also created an unexpected new profession. Salvage agents. Samura Aki is one of these salvagers, and she shares her experience with the augmented eye. Seeing big cities like Tokyo and places like uh, Kar Karaka several kilometers below the ocean surface, that's something that gets to you, you know? Millions lived there before the Great Earthquake, and it's on me to retrieve their memories, their lives. Aki is now working to retrieve items from a research facility in the Tanagashima Island in Japan. And Australia? Australia is a tad more complicated than that. Oh no, is this a Gundam future? Maybe. Where uh, Australia just got gets blown off the map and no one addresses it. I mean, it is Australia. You know how it'd be. Yeah. Or maybe it does get addressed and I've just never gone back to uh, other Gundam properties. I assume it's like a colony drop scenario. Probably. They do love their colony drops. There was a good um, Breaking Bad colony drop meme. Uh, going around, making the rounds today. Oh new, boy. New loom regulations by Lana Smithy. The current regulations preventing loom from looking too human have been working well so far, but Glitch says government is planning to create even more new laws so as to enforce robot like features among the loom in a bid to reduce identity theft. Glitch City, the first nation to adopt the current standard in artificial intelligence and robots, was the first to allow robots into normal society, quickly giving them necessary rights so as to sustain long-term experiment, a, a long-term experiment, about their role in human evolution. Unfortunately, the first year saw numerous reports of identity theft, resulting in the need for more stringent measures. It is unknown what kind of laws will be will have in the future regarding their existence. But people look more robot-like by the day too. My first thought is that's a dig at like uh, Mark Zuckerberg, but that's probably just uh, Adam Jensen, man. Uh, I feel I feel like there are, I mean I feel like there are a lot of shitty tech heads this could apply to. Yeah, it might just be that uh, people are using more robots. Friday, December thirtieth, which is generally the last day of the weeks, I think. Hmm. Good evening. Hmm. Hmm. Gil, are you humming Shine Spark? Ah! Hey, Jill. Are you okay? Are you in love, maybe? Did you? What did you do with the lil? What did you do with the pop idol, Gillian? Fuck boy. <laughs> Fuck boy, what did you do? Hmm? Nothing of the sort. I'm fine. Right. No, seriously, did you fuck? Men only get so happy after they fucked. That's not. Oh my god, you totally fucked. <laughs> Was it Alma? Did you have seven minutes in heaven with her? You have to tell me. No, I didn't. 
In any case, congratulations. I haven't seen you this happy since... Well, never. Today's escapades will bring us to a familiar place and... Shit. Gil, I'm out. I'm gonna... Not so fast, flat bartender, if that's even your real name. Hey. I'm, I'm forgetting... Right, there's a... Uh... Another thing I've found is the Streaming Chan uh, text chats buttons. Uh -huh. So, I'm doing oh, this. Boy. Dear Lord. Oh, well. <laughs> well. We're gonna... So, it does a lot when I do just a little in there. Anyways, I got oh. achievement for that. Meh. Last time my viewership had a weird peak while I was passed out. Funny that. So I'm here to find out what made people so interested. Eh? Mm hmm. Hmm. Do I have something in my face? This guy totally fucked! No doubt about it! That gleam in his eyes is unmistakable. Hello, fellow youngsters. <laughs> Whatever, just keep it down. Ah, Jill, you hit. Isn't that the passed out girl from two weeks ago? I'm not here! Oh, sorry. And then they disappear. <laughs> I'll be back in my office then. Anyway. Oh, I have to pause to take, uh, do the jukebox. Where's our, where's our good TV? Time to mix drinks and change lives. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, if it's these two, which one do you want? Um, deal. Okay. Um, you were too happy and you are too mopey. What happened? I was right. It? That lore girl was head over heels for him. I was right on the money. <sighs> um, say, that girl. I'm not here! Sorry. Isn't she the one that passed out last time? Anyways. Betty was right, and that deserves a beer. And you? I'm fine. A Friday beer for cheerful Betty. Oof. Four. And mix. And serve. Here. Woo! So the girl was actually infatuated with him? You should have seen her screaming from the top of her lungs that she liked him. And him just standing there thinking. Ellipses. Just like that. In retrospect, it was a tad too cliched for my taste. Brr. Still, I knew she liked him. I was right. I was right. He doesn't seem particularly happy. He never is. Unlike your co-worker, holy shit, did he fuck? <laughs> You're making it too obvious, Gil. How? <laughs> that beaming face is unmistakable. The face of a guy that got some and enjoyed every moment. Back to deal, though. Like I said, he seems lost in thought. Victories like these are few and far between. Let me enjoy myself. <sighs> get something non-alcoholic here. That's not how you drown your sorrows, piece of scrap. I'll have a bloom light. Okay. Okay. One bloom light and something non-alcoholic. Two, three, four. One, one, two, one, two, three. All in the rocks. Next. Ah! Uh, what am I missing? Mixed and aged. Okay. Well, there we go. Three, four. I think we've made that mistake before. So I was a little sad you can't serve the horrifying concoction cocktail. It looks interesting. <laughs> Maybe not good, but interesting. Just to see what would happen. Pretty much. Right. I'm just going to start from the back and find one that's uh, no commentary. Sunshine Cloud. There we go. On the rocks and ah shit. 
One, two, one, two, on the rocks, and blended. And darn trigger finger. Sunshine cloud. Here. Thanks. Same. Celebrate all you want, but I'm freaking out here. I know nothing about relationships. I have no idea what to do. Well, for starters... What do you think, Jill? Me? Her? Betsy, I've seen a few of your relationships. Remember? Aside from Veronica, there's Angela, Pamela, Sandra, Rita, Monica, Erica, Tina, Marina, and Jessica. Ah, you're, you're fucking funny game. Ah, you're fucking funny. <laughs> ah, you're real fucking funny. <laughs> a little bit of Monica all night long. Oh, yeah. And, of course, uh, Betty and Veronica, the first yeah, one. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Uh, or should I say, didn't share the bed sheets. Snores like a pig. Cold feet. Shampoo waster. Chocolate addict. Too religious. Fan of the wrong rugby team. Teetotaler. And shoes with the mouth open. Lipsies. <laughs> what do you think, Jill? <laughs> that you must be quite the heartbreaker to have so many relationships in a short period of time. I mean about piece of scrap situation. And thank you. I'm not the right person for this. Um, Gil, you fucked before, right? Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. I think he's still humming that song. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's still on fucking Cloud Nine. Or is it fucking in Cloud Nine? What about... Sneaky, sneaky. I'll be damned. She has, actually hides pretty well. Ugh. <sighs> For starters, how do you feel about her? I... I don't know. I don't know her that well. You could start there. Ask her out sometime, get to know her. Maybe she'll change her mind, maybe you'll change yours. In the end, you lose nothing by... ...ellipses. What? I'm just realizing I'm giving love advice to a Lilum. So I don't know how well it all applies to you. Yeah, these things are human in all, all but organs nowadays, anyways. Even though that's the case, it's interesting that she felt that way towards him. Why wouldn't she? This fellow is a good catch, if I do say so myself. I do say so. <laughs> and like I said, humans in all but organs. You've surely encountered them that you sometimes forget are not humans. Well, we live in a weird times, but hey, that only makes them more interesting. I don't know. I, I would like to not be living in unprecedented times. Absolutely. Give me the most boring times imaginable, please, and thank you. It's odd. Living it's it's living odd going to... times yeah. for 20 years. Yeah. It's odd going to other cities and not seeing the same integration of Lilm, though. Well, Glitch City is pretty much the cradle of social experiments involving Lilm integration, so... <clears throat> anyway... Just try to get to know her, and you'll find out how you feel afterwards. Yeah, I think I'll try that. It's quite the uninspired advice, if you ask me. Anything else? Let's commemorate the occasion with a piano man and piano woman. Yeah. You know, sometimes that's all you need is the the basic bitch uh, advice. Yeah. The, someone to say the obvious thing. Mm. All on the rocks. Still not representing the opinions of the bar, bar of the bar piano players union. Oh, aged and mixed. Originally called pretty woman until people complained about a there should be a piano woman, P woman, here P woman. And now we reach a stalemate. I'd normally take the piano man, but I feel like there's a symbolic value in taking the woman. Hmm. Why order like that, then? Blush, blush, blush. Are you already <laughs> drunk? You've had two... I hate Laura. You what? She's gonna take you away from me. 
You're my piece of scrap, not hers. You're mine. Mine. Betty, you don't own me. Besides, I can't for the life of me leave you alone. I feel like the moment I let you out of my sight, you'll just crash. <laughs> it's not a laughing matter. You need someone making sure you aren't kicking people. Yeah. Someone to you know, uh, take her home when she's drunk, lay her on, down on her side, make sure she doesn't choke. Mm -hmm. It's not normal, you know? Besides, it's not like I have something with her yet. You're right. So you won't leave me? Uh, I worry myself sick if I left you to your own devices, honestly. We should leave now. Oh yeah. We're holding a uh, small New Year's party tomorrow. I don't know if you're if you want to come. We'll come. A little voice crack on mine. <laughs> Are you sure? We will. Fine, we'll be here, Jill. Anyway, see you then. Bye, Bill. Please come again. Party? I'd love to go! Oh, no. We let that slip. But I told everyone that tomorrow I'd end the year with a party myself, so... Sorry. Ellipsis. What, what does it say about streaming Chan that it wasn't until this time that I noticed she has heterochromia? Didn't, um, even didn't even register last time we saw her. That you al also agree with chat that she's wearing too much clothing. And that's what you've been <laughs> distracted with. Ha have you noticed the webcam on her head? The, the I don't, you know what? I don't think I did just because I think I, I don't think I never looked that far up. I tend to look all the characters in the face, so I didn't notice. <laughs> you didn't notice the head of Chromia because you were staring at her in the face. Look, also, also, I've been sizing my window way too small up until about halfway through our game through, so that might be part of the reason why, but still. <laughs> totally forgot she was already here. Man, that was such bliss. Still, I can see how traffic spiked. Things can get fun here. And just like the last time, I need to show my viewers something fun. Give me something nasty. Woo! Moon! Something nasty. Uh, probably just the... is, it, is it the Zen Star that's terrible because it's just four of everything and it's yeah. the worst? Yeah, anything like promo is uh, the worst. Yeah. Oh, I forgot that this is supposed to have ice in it, technically. No. You know, the, the ice evens it out, clearly. Obviously. Waters it down a little, cuts down on the nastiness. Here. This is the... Ah. Hold on. It was nasty, all right. And now it's time for me to be a nice person and give you something nice. Oh, is it Mega Christmas? Apparently. <laughs> It's the second time I'm here, so it's only natural you get your own copy of my theme song. Oh, how nice. Really? That's that was, only the second that... time she's here? I, I guess because yeah. she woke up the other time. Or she was here across two days. Yes, I think that's it. No, thank you. Don't be shy. Let me give you one. I mean it. No, thank you. Well, too late. It's already in your player. That can't... How in the ever-living fuck did you do that? Magic! That's bullshit. Video editing magic! I'm going to now look for... See if it's actually here, like, right now. No. That'd be great. Did you just hack into the music player? Let's move on, shall we? Ugh. <sighs> Yeah, whatever. Hey, weren't there dogs? Last time you talked about this place like it was this zany haven of sorts, but I see the same shit. We got rid of the dogs. Seriously, no decorations or anything of the like? Just the perfect three. Good question, where are the dogs? 
I either haven't paid enough attention or their arrival to their arrival or they haven't come yet. Idols, newspaper managers, talking dogs, and yet this is the same old bar like last time. I might sue you for fake advertising, you know? Now that I think about it, maybe Boss just donated money to this Sira thing. And then tricked the dog into coming here as a part-timer for kicks. Oh well, anything interesting lately? I mean, it's not like I missed them, but they should at least show their faces. Hello? Sorry, what did you say? I was asking if there were any new stories. This is not a newspaper, you know. Nor is it a crazy stories on demand streaming service. That's a big fat lie, and you know it. Get out of here. Shut up. But I said nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, is, is Valhalla just that, or like Anna especially, just that one meme of uh, Yugi being haunted by the pharaoh with gay, gay, homosexual, gay in the text box? You're not wrong, are you? Er, I mean, so shut that idea up. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what I meant. I won't. Last time I came here, the viewership peaked for some reason, and I want to find out why! Maybe Pretty Boy over there can tell us a story of who he fucked. <laughs> He's so distracted, he won't even make a retort. Amazing. I guess there's something worth saying, but... Then I want to hear it! Mm, oopsies. Well, Cure Mickey came by yesterday. Again. You're shitting me. You, ex you expect me to believe she came all the way here again? Do you even have proof like the glass from last time? Well... If I may interject. You've been listening, boss? The walls are pretty thin. Have you been listening the entire game? Oh. Anyway, she did! I even took a pic with her. She did what? Ellipses. Let's see. Why? 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 No! Chat's going off. I try to make an appointment with her and she's always busy. Well, you sit there and she just comes waltzing over? Yeah. Make him come to you. Not it's not fair. Hey, if I knew how the hell this stuff like that happened, I'd share my secrets. I was just b as baffled as you are right now. Yeah, but I bet you're not even that much of a fan anyway, are you? You're not wrong. Can you at least tell me how nice she was as a client? Very graceful client, much like the last time. A really nice girl. I'm gonna give you my number. If she ever comes back, you let me know, you hear? I'm not gonna let you keep her to yourself. I really doubt she'll come back yet again, though. She already came twice. I'm not taking any chances. Ellipses. Uh, I need something to drown this anger with. Give me something girly, will you? Okay. I think I've heard that uh, superstition of uh, anything that happens twice will happen a third time. There was a um a book I read for school because it was uh, a French author and this was for French class uh, uh, called The Alchemist. All right, La Chimiste. I think it's a uh, classic, and that was one of the main uh, fables or morals, I guess, mm -hmm. in that one. You got robbed three times. Ah, uh, there we go. Here. Phew! Let's just chill a little bit. If it, it's still not fair. You know, you're boring today. That's fine. You're not chatting that much, nor are you doing anything funny. Maybe the whole peak th viewership thing was just you? 
Eh? Maybe the spar and me both had nothing to do with the spike. Maybe you were just that good. Lipsies. Yeah. Better or up so she'll leave. Yep. And not come back. Are you hitting on me? I'm not. In fact, I'm kind of trying to get you to leave. Pronto. Don't be so hard on the girl. She's fun. I wonder if Anna shows up on camera. Another, nuisa another nuisance shows up. Wow, Joe hates me. It's not hate, it's just... Wait, I'm not having this conversation again. Boring. Hey, hey, you are curious, right? About Fuckboy's partner? Want to know who it is? Do you know? Maybe, maybe not. That maybe not sells it then. Not taking any chances. You're not gonna, you're not gonna get me baited. Oh, oh, come on. Um, bartender, you're making lots of faces there. It's nothing really. Did the two bartenders break or something? Should I call the manager? Tech support? Hey, Joe, inner and outer voice, remember? Right, I'm always getting- fuck. I'm always getting that mixed up. What? Who fucked? Aside for that guy, I mean. Um... Uh... Say, you're oddly calm today. Well, I've been getting more sleep lately. I don't believe you, but good on you. That way I don't feel like if I stop speaking, I'll die. Yeah, yeah, good on you, streaming Jam. Crash is one hell of a drug. And wouldn't you know, I can actually make it premium time if I go commando. Ah, uh, right. See, this is why Twitch doesn't let, allow sleeping streams. <laughs> it's for this reason, specifically. <laughs> well, come on, I'm getting bored out of my ass here. Do something! I'm not a dog. You can't just ask me to roll over, you know? Mind if I entertain you a bit, then? Dana. Dana can ask me to roll over any time. Yeah, there we go. Boss? You and Gil take a break. I'll entertain the Missy here. Alright. Just... Ah, uh, Jill. By that I meant, take Gil with you. I don't want him humming to the middle of the road and right into a truck's grill. Heh. <laughs> Grilled Gil. Right. Alright, Gil, come with me. Eh? Yeah. Is she just so, gonna play, like, entertain the, a 12 year old, like, play patty cake or. Uh, oh, I, I assumed she was gonna demonstrate some wrestling moves on her mm -hmm. or something. Share her toys. Something like that. We call this one the secretly Canadian. <laughs> Oh, uh, there's Gil. Want one? Hmm? No thanks, I don't smoke. Okay. Alright, I got a text from Alma. Boss, Alma and Gil didn't fuck! Well, that's a bummer! <laughs> she, is, she is sending congratulations your way, though. Yeah. Tell her I said thanks, I guess. Yeah. I like how we ask Alma first because she's like the one straight girl we know. Yep. So, who was the lucky girl? Ellipses. So was it a guy? I never thought you swung that way. It wasn't a guy. So it was a girl, and you did fuck. I don't feel comfortable talking about that, you know? What, is this workplace sexual harassment? You don't make things easy for me, though. How uh, so? I mean, you're pretty hard to get close to, you know? You never talk about yourself. You're talkative, so long as it doesn't involve you directly. Teasing you is li literally the only way I know to get through to you. You make me sound like some weird loner. You are a weird loner. At least tell me if you enjoyed the night you spent with whoever it was. I did. Good for you. Why are you humming Sunshine Stone so much, though? Well, after that Isla girl came yesterday again, I looked up her discography and I can't stop humming or listening to them. That's how they get you. Right. 
Oh god, you didn't fuck the idol girl, did you? No, why would that be a problem, though? Because she's fucking her manager. I don't know, it just feels weird. Well, that's that for the break. Let's go back. Right. Oh, and Gil? Hmm? Keep in mind what I said about opening up more. I mean it. That way we won't tease you so often. Listening to you say that has to be the weirdest thing I've heard this year. And it is almost... The year is almost over, so that's a long time. Shut up. I wonder if Alma finds Gil attractive. Let's see. Let's find this, uh... I bet you that's it. Go, go, streaming chat. And then I think the rest of these are redos. Yep. Yeah. So there's other missing ones. Hmm. Maybe that, and I don't think I've gotten those before on my own either. It might be a um, uh, new game plus option. Let's get hmm. uh, the cure making one in there too. And there we go. That's that. I'm back. What were you two doing back there? Fucking. Oh, good. I, w I was going to make that joke if the game didn't. <laughs> I, I, ha I had a feeling. Oh, so just chatting then. <laughs> Holy crap, did you two really fuck? We got her on the hook. John is the, man, the face of a man who was fucked to death recently. Ellipses. Seagull, you're making it too obvious. How? What will you have today? I'll have a gut punch. Coming right... Eh? What? N nothing. Dorothy wants a gut punch. Is the world ending? No, we are close to the end of the game, so... In a sense. Yeah. Well, let's, uh... To the brim, then. When in doubt, booze it up. Yeah. Here. Stop looking at me like that. Sorry. Are you okay? It's weird for you to order something like that. Yeah, I'm just trying out stuff. Did you know Lilum tongues are designed to identify you food using the chemical components? Our tongues were designed with the human ones in mind. For example, the first flavors that we detect are sour and bitter, just like you guys. I check my personal specs, and apparently my sensitivity is set to 1.2235x. Fibonacci numbers? Yeah, uh, Not quite. Almost, yeah. That makes me hate those flavors because I feel them harder. Why, are, why all that exposition? I mean, I'd lie if I say I wasn't interested, but why? Well, after last time, I got curious and started checking how many of my systems worked in detail. For example, the tips of my fingers are so sensitive to vibration, you can make me a, make a seismograph with them. Huh. And checking that, I found that it's all based on how humans work. And that got me thinking about what you said. I mean, for my systems to work, humans had to understand how they work. And after all those discoveries, we're not any more or less artificial. Why should I be? I don't know. Looking up all of that suddenly made me feel... real. No oh, good. Existential crisis averted. Woo! It was the opposite of what I felt last time. I, f I feel like I'm r here right now. Glad to hear that. Alright then, let's try something sweet now. Something sweet. That's more like it. My uh, flavor. Yeah, we could do the P1 or we could do Brandini. Uh, I'll age and next Brandini. Here. Ah, nice. To be honest, it's a bit surreal for me. What? I'm here talking to you and you're answering like any human would. You're even expressing happiness. I remember when I was a kid, I 
He usually tried to, to strike conversation with AIs. But after a bit, they just start looping through their built-in answers, repeating the same things over and over. It always made me crash back into reality. When I think back to that, having such advanced AIs like you here right now, it's amazing. I don't know, it makes my inner child happy to see something she always dreamt of. It helps when I feel particularly cynical. Ah, you flatter me. Besides, I've always thought about thought about humans like nature's little them. The method might have been different, but we too evolved from a more simple form ages ago. If Lola managed, managed to create biological life years from now, it will all have come full circle. So, what should I take from this is... You love me? Don't overdo it. Anything else? Let's go with a sugar rush. Okay. Sugar rush. Reduce weight. Well, it worked. Here. Even in doubt, my love for these is real. How romantic. So I take it the solipsis problem got solved? Yep. All the reality crisis starting the other day. My mo guardian. Call her mom. No one's judging you. My mom decided to meet with the mother of her daughter's girlfriend. Oh, that's nice. It was a very emotional meeting. They both said like they felt like they closed a long chapter. I was moved, but that's when it set in. Why was I moved? I never met any of them, so where do these feelings come from? Why do I feel things? Do I really feel them? What tells me someone else isn't pressing a button to make me feel that? I'm more clicking mice, um, a mouse. <laughs> what tells me I'm in this body? What is real? Boom! Oh, she's short-circuited. Oh, don't worry, by the way, I'm fine. Thank God. It's unnatural to see you down like that. Man, that go- man, that go-go is a blast. Don't you feel like talking a bit more- uh, talking a bit more with Didi? Didi is too much of a prick and Gogo is tired. Besides, I want to talk with the bartenders. Oh, fuck. Well, I tried, Jill. I'll be in my office. Ah! Cute little girl of them! Cam girl! I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> oh, fiddlesticks. I, uh... My, uh, me and my girlfriend of a... We, we, a friend of ours... There's a friend of ours... There's my best friend from college... And there's her brother. And they're all more or less the same human. And it is always funny to... It, it's literally that it's always sunny meme of like, Oh my god, there's two of them. And I'm getting the same feeling right now. What's your name, girl? I'm Dorothy I'm... Hayes. We, we, no, we should trade off. I'm Dorothy yeah. Hayes, at your service. Do you come here often? Are you hitting on me? Hey, Dorothy, I'm in the middle of a live stream. Do you want to participate? Sure, it sounds fun. Okay, let's take a recommendation from you. What should I drink next? Try the sugar rush. Bartender, a sugar rush over here. Oopsies. Bartender. Sorry, what? My life flashed before my eyes. Sugar rush, please. Right. Sugar rush again. Right, so one, two, three. Uh, and then a whole bunch of karma train. A whole bunch of karma train. Here. Good choice, Dorothy. Yay. Fuck yeah. Go, go, go. <laughs> so uh, what are you doing in my turf? Um, 
streaming Chan. Yes? No, I mean, that's what she calls herself. Man, that's a tacky name. Ah! Yeah, but it's my tacky name. Actually, that's not really my name. What's your real name, then? Behind Streaming Chan's Oscar li mask lies the humble Nicole Chen. What's the pun here? I, I think maybe there isn't one. Humble. Why not call yourself t Streaming Chen? It's funny that you mention it. You see, when I started, I called myself Nico Nico Chen. There it is. There's the pun. I changed websites, so the name felt a bit out of place. Thus, I became Streaming Chen. Everyone nicknamed me Streaming Chen, though, so I just went along with it. Uh, when you get bullied into it. Yep. You mean, when you get gaslit by your audience. <laughs> oh, yeah, I get it. At one point, I was going to call myself Dolores Hayes. But then I realized the name was Subtle as a Brick to the Face. This is, as we previously discussed, the uh, origin for Lolita and all that. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm. Anyway, I'm here because the last time I came, I ended up with greater viewer numbers than usual. And so, I wanted to treat my loyal audience again. Oh, I see. Well, you came to the right place, especially if you're looking for some comfy fun. Honey here might seem harsh, but you just need to crack her shell. Shut up. See? You just need to say the right thing at the right time and she becomes a sweetheart. Quiet you. Don't play hard to get. You know it's true. Hey, stream girl. That's me. I'll regret asking this, but don't you have a sponsor? It's weird that it's been this long without some advertisement. I have, but you see, the contract with them expired, so Marvin, the business guy or whatever, had to make a new one. He was going to send the draft to his lawyer as it had a couple of additions, but um, let's say he got too excited with my VR model and the contract became unreadable. Ellipses. Yeah, just real life ellipses. Ellipses. Oh, so he used the contract to. Yep, he cut into he cut it into a pair of panties and rubbed it vigorously on his penis. <sighs> You're right. I do regret asking that. Yep. I mean, you'd expect certain principles to be upheld, even in the adult VR industry. I reported him and he got fired, but now they're looking for a new business person thing. Hmm. At least don't ruin the contract, right? Right. That's the important part. Feels like a good way to get paper cuts in places you don't want paper cuts. Just foolishness all around. Honestly, I think the paper cuts all over his dick are punishment enough. I'm gonna note I had not read what had come up on stream when I made that comment. Get, the game gets in your head. It really does. But I mean, why the contract? I don't mind if he jacked off to an image of me, but the contract? That's money you're soiling right there. Some weird fin dom thing, clearly. I would have gone back on the deal were it not for the owner paying me a visit and apologizing profusely. Some people, seriously. Ah, dick paper cuts. She said knowingly. <laughs> I've done enough crazed teacher fantasies to know how they can be a problem. I don't think you need to have experience to understand that. That said, Gil's been grimacing for a full minute now. <laughs> Don't think when about the, dick paper cuts. When, when the cringe is literal, not metaphorical. Don't mind me. Huh? But you know, I like you, Dorothy. Why don't we collaborate with celebrate with beers? My treat. All right. Two big beers, honey. Lipsis. Now I need two big beers. <laughs> All right. One, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, and up the rim. Let's 
this beer. And four, two, one, two, three, four. And all the way up to the time. Here we go. Here. Cheers. 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 All right, I'm not feeling my tongue or my feet. Time to get lewd. Oh, joy. Did, did I hear lewd? Do you have any stories? Mm, there, this will be a treat for non-premium users. Ooh. I once met a guy that insisted on doing it in a jacuzzi. He didn't mind being in premium time, so I started setting up the cameras. And man, was it a challenge. I wasn't just going to stream over the water. I want some underwater action, too. Why'd you do it with the bubbles and all? That was the least of the problems. We just turned the jets off. But not only did I have to make a makeshift underwater cover, I also had to keep in mind the heat. Heat isn't good with cameras. Did you try chilling the camera? Cam a bit and putting it in a bag with some filling? We made something more convoluted. We took a small cooler, opened a hole for the lens, and sealed it with plastic. I made sure the thing looked good through the camera and started recording. This is a lot to... This is a convoluted set to do while horny. Yeah. True. Oh. Take, this takes work. Threw in some cooling packs and sealed the fuck out of the cooler. Did it need any weight? Yep, luckily the guy was into bodybuilding, so we used some old dumbbells. He was also ripped as fuck, but that's another story. I w it was an all a success, but it's also the last time I had sex in a jacuzzi. What? Why is uh, the way you're telling the story st starting to sound like Abe Simpson? So I'm going for drunk and just going into that wavy voice people use to make people sound old. Mm. Blood rushing, hot water. I felt like I was dying midway through it. Thank God he decided to resume the action out of the water midway through, or I would have surely died. But not stopped. No. At least the guy didn't burn himself. What do you mean? Last time I had sex in a jacuzzi, my body got so hot the guy almost burned his dick. I considered investing in a cooling system, but it's so situational and expensive that I'll pass. Besides, those cooling systems require too much maintenance. Wait, I think I should leave, but care to join me in escapades for the rest of the night? Can I plug my services at the end of the night? Sure. Then count me in. I've got the perfect stories. Let us be on our way, then. Goodbye, bartender. Bye, honey. Like a house of fucking fire. Well, let's start the story. You see, there was this mega Christmas, this mega Santa. Wait, seriously? They left. A pair made in hell. <laughs> At least they look like they're having fun. That method of filming underwater sounded convoluted as fuck, though. But I guess it's hard to keep a cool head when you're horny. We're done, boss. Man, don't you just feel great? Were we in the same place? Here, Jill. What's this? A bonus. You've been giving me a lots of lots of those. Today I got a taste of the kind of clients you deal with, and keep it up. <laughs> <laughs> you sure you couldn't give given me this yesterday when I needed rent money? Hmm. Well, tomorrow's the big day, so get ready. Oh boy. That goes for the both of you. Either I'm getting old, or that girl was way too much even for me. That's a pretty good bonus for the day, though. Yeah. No new notifications or reminders. Happy New Year! Make sure all your wishes come true in a new, bountiful year filled with health and joy. I'll leave the closet open in case you want to hide from the noise. Thanks. Aw, uh, good pen owner. Do we have any uh, news stories here? 
Augment die is down for maintenance. Sorry for the inconvenience. I guess That's not. That's right. Nothing new on the boards. Oh, this is a new one. Uh, yeah, I think yeah, I think we read Surviving Glitch City, so this one's new. Admin Chris, we wanted to stop the epic memeing for a while just to say thank you. Big, big thanks to each and every one of you who bought this game. Hold on. <laughs> Wait a minute. We Wait a minute, the... this is a sincere message to somebody. <laughs> on the internet. Anonymously. <laughs> bought this game. Thank you for reaching up to this point in the into the game. Thanks for all your tweeting, all your questioning through Tumblr, all the emails, etc., etc. Even though we couldn't answer every single thing, we can't stress how much we appreciate all the messages we got. Thank you very much. The road was the road was rocky. Things weren't as smooth as we had hoped uh, around the end of development. We even had some people actively trying to sabotage our work. But like Big Match John, we kicked the uh, we beat the odds and kicked out at two. Admin, Admin Fairfair. Fair. Yeah. Uh, you want me to read it? Yeah. Or? Admin Fairfair. Fair. Thanks for reading through all of my nonsense. Hope it wasn't too heavy handed. Let's fill the world with badass cuties. Aw, that's cute. Weird message. I didn't see that before. That's nice. Uh, and we have all this money now to spend. <laughs> sure. Fills you with fanaticism. Yeah. Scrap of paper with download code for meet the staff. Chemical bugs coding up. Key clay houses. And replica toy turn. Ah yes, there we are. Right, that that was a thing that we That was the really not, expensive one. Could not possibly afford. I think we can get everything else though. Yeah, I think I think if we've been uh, doubling up on like the big drinks earlier, we probably might have enough for the toy touring. But I feel like you have to actively work towards having that much money for. Yeah. Ah, look at all the nice stuff in our room. Yeah, look at all our junk. So homey. Look at her, happy. And we could go play video games. Buy that shirt, IRL. Funds <laughs> nine dollars. Nine bucks. Yeah, that sounds about right. Let's do a quick uh, save and then head off to work. All right. December Saturday. 31st. Uh, turn for you, Jill, I think. All right. Ellipses. Ellipses. Well, let's see. Gil's in the back getting everything ready. I'll go grab some food. Gr grab some food I've ordered. The only agree to... They only agreed to work on New Year's if I went to pick it up myself. Ellipses. Are you alright? I'm scared. Gabby will show up at any minute. Relax. Everything will be alright. I can assure you of that. Ellipses. Drink something. Maybe it'll cheer you up. Maybe. I'll leave you for a bit, but keep your chin up. If you get through this, I'll give you... I don't know. A hug. Does that work? A, a hug? A big one. A reward for everything after everything's said and done. Ellipses. Gotta go. You can do it. Right. Oh, thank you, boss. Everything's fine. You've been avoiding this for all these years. Now it's time to face it head on. Yeah, everything's fine. Everything will be better after I talk to Gabby. Boss might even give me a hug. I'm okay. Um, hello. Gabby. C come in. Ex excuse me. Welcome to Valha. H hey. hey. Good, we worked that out. <laughs> You talk first. No, I... Well... Some days ago, I got a letter. And even odder than getting a letter is the fact that... It was from your sister. A what? 
My sister sent you a letter? That's the first time I've heard of it. What did it say? I don't know. I never opened it. At least not until now. Huh. I figured I should read it with you. Ellipses. Yeah, let's let's do it. Let's read it. All right, then. Sorry. Just just that? Yep. Isn't there anything else in the letter? Maybe on the back? <sighs> this is just like your sister. I spent days worried about this letter, not wanting to open it for fear of what it what it might contain. I lost sleep and appetite thinking about it. And after all those worries, after all these problems, after all these years of not talking to her, she sends me a letter, a fucking letter of all things. And she just says, sorry. Sorry for what? For a fight? For not talking all these years? Now I'm fucking pissed. <laughs> Are you laughing? <laughs> Sorry, I just... <laughs> I remembered all the times my sis provoked you that way. Like that time where she gave you chocolates labeled two, 1, 2, and 4 during Valentine's Day. And you were pissed about the lack of a 3. Or the last time you left an unopened beer bottle on the table and she sneakily opened it up and took a sip. She didn't tell you and she... She didn't tell you she did, and you were confused all day long. She always bragged she knew me like the back of her hand. The letter was supposed to piss me off like that. I guess she had all the right to rights to brag. Maybe she was being sincere, though. She did express to me that she was sorry on more than one occasion. She did, huh? You told me she died from localized nanomachine rejection, right? In her heart, yeah. Instead of the massive rejection that always makes the news, her case was more focused. They usually amputate or replace the part and call it a day. But organs are different. The condition made her susceptible to transplant rejections. Not to mention artificial hearts and genetic treatments were out of the question. Yep. Thing is, apparently she suffered from that since she was 18, but kept it a secret from everyone. Why? Hell if I know, I was angry to learn that she had that she hid it. Why didn't she tell me? Was it to avoid worrying me? Was she ashamed? Ashamed? What was it? Hmm. Wait, how did she live so normally then? She had to use a serum. Shots near her heart every three days. Apparently the serum burns like hell. The shot even left her a nasty mark where she had to apply them. So the thing near her left breast wasn't a birthmark? And the rejection was what ended up killing her? The nail machine rejection was what ended up killing her, but they couldn't find what made her so vulnerable. Doctors said she might have missed a shot or the shots made her other defenses grow weaker. The condition could have just gone nuts out of nowhere, or maybe it was blood pressure? Maybe it was a regular heart attack and the rejection acted afterwards? They don't know. She kept it a secret from everyone, so nobody knows. Maybe if she had told me about it, I could have helped her. Maybe she'd still be alive. Maybe she wouldn't have faced it alone instead of just dying in her sleep. Mm. Teary-eyed ellipses. Mm. Thinking about what ifs won't bring her back. Eh? I spent so much time hammering myself about what ifs after you told me she died. What if I'd waited to cool down a bit back then? What if I just swallowed my fears at that very moment? What if I had apologized earlier? What if I had given a chance to the research in institute thing back then? And the amount just increased threefold after I lashed out at you the other day. But today I realized something. Having such regrets with the dead is a hollow effort. You're alive. You're here. I can make amends with you, but I can't make amends with the dead. I can't apologize to her like I can apologize to you right now. Jill. Lenore, she's... She's resting now. She's just resting after having that heart condition all these years. She didn't have to face it alone, though. If she only... So, 
let's celebrate her life and achievements. If we were to mourn, let's mourn her together. If we were to honor her, we'll do it together. Together. Lenora was a fun-loving person. The best we can do right now is try to lighten up, even if it's only for a moment. Hmm. I need to ask, though, did she really start to complain about chest pain shortly after I left? N no. She didn't get visibly worse after you left or anything. Everything was actually... was actually too sudden. She did complain about chest pains from time to time, but that actually goes away, way back before you left. Back then, we thought it was just acid reflux or something. Gods, I even blamed her death on you. I was just too angry back then, and part of me just wanted to put the blame on someone or something. And you didn't deserve that. Sorry. I'm sorry too, you know. We both have things to apologize for. Don't think too much about it. I should have been mature and not shouted at you either, so... Let's just call it all that water under the bridge, shall we? Are you sure? Of course I am. So, how did you find me exactly? It, uh, um... Well, have you heard of a message board called Danger You? Ch Childs? Child, what are you doing on the on the boards? No, don't go to the boards, child. It's bad there. That way lies madness. You must never go there, Simba. I have, yeah. Well, truth is that I visit it from time to time. And the other day I read a thread that discussed the bar. And the description of the bartender sounded just like you. Hmm. Are you mad? We did see that thread go by about uh, we did. Val Valhalla Bar. No, not mad. More like dumbfounded. What a contrived method. Ah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey, Jill. Can you tell me what the problem was back then? What sparked that fight? Weren't you happy with my sister? Well, hmm. Back then, I didn't know what to do with myself mm -hmm. after I graduated college. I went in and pretty much hated my last couple of years there. It's not far-fetched to think that I only tolerated being there because your sister was with me. Had she stopped supporting my studies, I would have quit right then and there. And then after graduating, I got a very good job offer that she accepted on my behalf in no time. She kept saying it was the best for me and my future, but I was livid. Why did she have to do that? I hated it. I didn't even know if I wanted to go there, but she still insisted so much. Like she was forcing that burden on me. And then my became our future and she started talking about marriage. You were going to get married? I don't think we ever took it seriously. It was just something she kept mentioning. Not like we didn't think about that down the line, but she mostly teased me with it. But the thought suddenly scared the shit out of me. I loved her, but I didn't think I was ready for such a commitment, especially considering what she did. I didn't know what I wanted to do, but I wasn't going to let her decide such a big thing for me. I mean, she could be really pushy from time to time. Like I said, I pretty much passed college thanks to being with her, and that was partly because she was so pushy. Even if she had the best intentions, she could be abrasive from time to time. And it rained down on and it rained down on me at that moment. She took it upon herself to make that choice for me. What would have stopped her once we gotten married? What if she suddenly decided to craft my life to her needs after marriage? I knew her. She would do it thinking it was the best for me. But what about my freedom, my say on the matter? So that's where you stopped loving Lenore. No, no, no. I never stopped loving her, which is why it hurts so much. But you have to understand. I didn't want to wake up 40 years old and working a job I hate. Just out of routine, getting used to it. I want a break from everything for a while to put my thoughts in order. Regroup myself. Think carefully about what to do next. I can understand. I've sometimes felt the same, although I'm not even in college. So that's what, what led you two to fighting, huh? <sighs> you know the word fight makes it sound like we exchanged blows or something? It's all silly when I think back to it. Tragically silly. 
Maybe I was the one who started the fight, getting all defensive about not wanting to take that offer. Perhaps if I didn't overreact to her arguments about wasting this huge opportunity. Maybe she wouldn't have lashed out at this me this bad. It couldn't have been avoided if I had just kept a cool head and talked about that with her. My sister said something like that. Eh? I told you she mentioned on more than one occasion how sorry she was about the whole thing, right? Should have listened to her in, to the end, but I inst but instead I kept pushing her. I should have kept a cool head instead of letting my jealousy take the best of me. It was her offer, not mine. Should have stopped projecting myself on so much onto her. Something like that. Lenore. <laughs> we are quite the hotheads. You, me, my sis. You're supposed to be the mature one, you know? Play your role correctly. <laughs> but why didn't you come back, Jill? Did you end up hating us that much? Did the break include us, too? No, it's just that... Mm -hmm. Remember when your sister was giving a class and you broke a window? How you didn't want to see her for fear of being scolded? But my sister wouldn't have scolded you. But I was afraid. Dead afraid. I couldn't bring myself to face your sister. But I faced her back then, and I was like seven at the time. Why couldn't you do it? It's not quite the same. And in perspective, no matter what reason I come up with, it will never make sense. Everything sounds very stupid when I look back, you know? Not that it makes things easier. I wouldn't even get to speak to her ever again, and it feels bad because it's stupid. I swear, you and my sister were meant for one another. You both moved on after all that, but neither had the courage to go back and say you're sorry. <sighs> and like I said, braiding myself over those past mistakes won't bring her back. I miss her so much, though. We were together all the time, always talking about dumb stuff. I wouldn't call my parents useless, but she was the one that I could always talk to. I feel her absence every day. Everything is just so quiet now. She was an amazing person. Yeah, she was an amazing person. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. Morning is fine and all, but we should be celebrating her life. If she was here, she would tell us that there's no fun in sulking for so long. She told you that all the time. The same way she told you to stop rubbing things in people's faces. Mm. Both figuratively and literally. That dog deserved it. <laughs> hey, I was eight back then. So let's have a toast in her honor, shall we? A toast? Yeah, let me get you a drink. Uh, a drink? Don't worry, trust me. Something uh, to toast with Gabby with. Preferably something sweet. You can give her a little alcohol. <laughs> Tiny bit of alcohol for the child. You know, the kid's first drink. As, as, they, as, they do, as they do in France. Yeah. I was handed shitty beer when I was 15. Put me off drinking for a while. Yeah, yeah, I'd have to. That's the real hey, technique. Hey, son, do you want to try some wine? Oh, this is awful. I'm never having this again. Exactly. My, my uncle owned a winery. I, I worked. <laughs> I picked grapes for for a while. Did not care for wine at all. Nope. Grab this for a sec. Uh, okay. Ahem. Lenora, I know you're watching from the beyond right now, as I give a drink to your little sister. It's obvious to me now that we both meant to make amends at some point, but we never got around to it. I can't apologize to you anymore, but I can at the very least make you rest easier. So know that I'll look out for Gabby in your absence. I'll make sure Gabby grows into a fine woman, just like you were. I'll always be there for her. I'll be sure the little brat doesn't face the same problems you and I had. Hey. Want to add anything? Um. Mm, I'll always miss her. Don't say it to me. Say it to her. That's a bit. 
Come on. Just this once. Mm. I'll always miss you, sis. 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 You idiot. Why did you keep that secret for so long? Idiot. Idiot. I always told you everything. Wasn't I enough? You idiotic idiot. Mm. Um. Hey, Jill. Promise me you won't be like that knucklehead. That you won't keep stuff like that to yourself. Only if you promise the same to me. And and promise me we won't fight. I can't do that. Eh? You and I are both too thick-headed. Sooner or later we'll clash on some opinion. <laughs> but what I can promise is that I won't run away, run away like last time. We'll both cool off and talk it over like the adults we are. I'm not an adult. Let's face it, you've been more mature than I have. <laughs> mm. Hey, did you mean what you said? That you'll like af that you'll look after me? I'll always be here for you, Gabby. I mean, I'm not Lenore, but I wouldn't dare leave my little sister alone. Oh, chill. Mm. Hey, wasn't this a toast? Right. For Lenore, faithful sister and girlfriend. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Um, so... About this drink. Can I drink it? Do you like it? Take a sip. It's not bad. Why not drink it then? You're with an adult. We might as well break the alcohol taboo here now. R right. Now I think back to it. Didn't your sister give you beer once as a prank? Oh yeah, that. It was an April Fool's. I should have known better when she offered me apple soda. I put bubblegum on the soles of all her shoes in retaliation. She walked funny, and my jaw hurt for the rest of the day. Yeah, but did you know you got my drink that time? Huh? She gave me a beer, and it turned out to be apple soda. Oh. The real victim in this prank. Oh. Ah! Did you get back at her? Well... I did hide all the dildos in the house that night, only to find out she knew how to use a cucumber. And as a follow-up, she used that same cucumber in a salad days later. She said, so, do you like eating me for lunch? <laughs> Just women love lemon things. Yep. <laughs> Jill, you've been quiet for a while. I'll tell you when you're older. Okay, never. Taking that secret to the grave. Or never at all. <laughs> hmm. Hey, Gabby. Do your parents know you're here? They think I'm at Clary's, actually. Who? Oh, she's my best friend at school. And this Claire knows you're using her as an excuse, right? Of course. How would she cover for me otherwise? True. Kids today. I know. Will you go to her house afterwards? To be honest, I didn't think that far. Maybe I will. I do live in another district, but Clary doesn't live close by, so... Hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, it can't be helped. She got the guy. I live nearby, and the streets aren't exactly safe at night. Why not stay with me tonight? Uh, are you sure? I don't live in a mansion, but I'd say it's comfy enough at least to spend the night. Sure, I'd love to stay with you. Great. Hey, does your dad still have that bakery? His bread was really good. Yep, he opened the second branch last year. So he's looking to expand? I think he got into a partnership with a friend in Motor District. The guy saw an opportunity after realizing Motor District had almost no bakeries. I still remember when your sister introduced me to him. He starts shouting, I knew it! I fucking knew you were a lesbian! Mark one for daddy! Oh. Parents show their love in their own way. Yeah, absolutely. I think he had this bet with an acquaintance of his ever since my sis was 12 years old or so. Dad said sis was into girls. The other, the acquaintance didn't believe him. He bet a beer on what, whether he was right or not. That beer bottle is still in the fridge. It's labeled Sweet Victory. 
Heh. <laughs> Your mom and Lamore, L Lenore never made up, did they? Uh, I guess that one wasn't as simple as the said one too many things argument. Mom was always obsessed with high society and her inner circle of friends as a and a lesbian daughter was a no-no. I'm still on Sis's side for that one, though. Mom didn't reject her because she herself was homo homophobic. She did it because her friends were. Mm, I don't know. I, I think you can be homophobic by association there. Mm -hmm. To Mom, the opinion of her circle of friends was worth more than her own daughter. How did she react to her death? Don't know. Mom and Dad broke up two years ago. They did? They never got married, so that was an, there was no proper divorce. I haven't seen her since August, I think. Did you two fight too? No, she just hasn't showed up. You must have felt alone, huh? I've been there. A bit. God. Oh. They crash? Yeah, sure did. I also <laughs> heard uh, the Discord sound go off, so uh, I assume things are fine there. Hopefully. Uh, uh, get the game back going. Should appear back for chat Sh soon. There it comes. Not Technical time. difficulties, yeah. folks. Not time to crash. Yeah, of uh, course. Uh, let's see. Not seeing the game yet. Uh, I did start sharing. Let me uh, let me stop and start again. Should I, uh, what should I do? Like, hop off the call or something? I forget how we fixed this in the past. Yeah, that might, that might do it. I think it, right. it probably, Discord probably got mad when a connection was cut short. All right, hold on, be right back. Uh, uh, call. All right, let's try this again. Share screen, Valhalla. There we go. All right, great. Load. I mean, we had a good, uh... Good ways in. Good save. We saved right before going. Yeah. So, everything's fine there. And I think we can just zoom forward until we serve the sugar rush. Yep. This is a long conversation. Yeah. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, wow. There we go. Something nice and sweet. Simplest strength we got. All mixed. So, okay. All right. All right. Something about having that fight and drinks. Uh -huh. All right. Let's Apples. See. Parents, I don't know. Parents, getting close. There's the dead. Sweet victory. Yep. And mom. They did. They never got yeah. married, so there was no proper divorce. I haven't seen her since August, I think. Did you two fight too? No, she just hasn't shown up. You must have felt alone, huh? I've been there. A bit, but I'm not alone anymore, thanks to you. There we go. There we go. And we're back. Oopsies. Jill, I'm a bit dizzy. Must be the alcohol. I gave you one... I gave you a drop of carbitrine. She's, she's a child. The what? Nope. Is it... Hey. No, 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 it like, it like, there we go. Uh, I did say let's break the alcohol taboo, didn't I? Yeah, but. Don't worry, it'll pass in a bit. And let this be a warning of the dangers of taking things from strangers in bars. See, First I was teaching, feel... <laughs> see, I was teaching you a lesson, child. First you feel dizzy, then you wake up in a bathtub full of ice. With your kidney missing. If you're trying to justify your action with a moral, you're digging yourself deeper. Huh? I thought there was going to be a party here. 
Alma, over here. Party? A small New Year's Eve, New Year's celebration. Want to stay for it? I I don't want a kid to burden. Eh, don't worry, you weren't. You'll only get cola for the night, though. No alcohol. I think it's a bit late for that. Him. It'll give us time to catch up even more. I can introduce you to some friends. Are you in? If you don't mind me. Great. Hey, Alma, come here. There's someone I want to introduce you to. Ba -da -da. I, I have relinquished control. And that's the game. And now we uh, get to see all the endings that we've earned. Yeah. Writer and programmer, Fernando Damas. Character design, game art, and I think technically the CEO <laughs> is Kira Rin 5 one <laughs> when, when you have two people, you get to call yourself CEO. He's the CEO and he's a CFO. Why? Mm. He likes working in Excel more than I do. Yeah. Game design, original concepts. More credits to do with the sound. And then probably a bunch of beta testers. Yep. Oh. Quality assurance. Pre -sound. Very important. Oh, they're getting the same people to do there. Game testing. Christopher Ortiz, Andrea Ortiz, so family. Director is doing quality assurance in game testing. Community management. As one does. Yeah. Special thanks to Yisbert Games. It's you uh, right there. He's talking about us. Hold on a minute. Everyone who pre-ordered. That's me. Mom, dad, dad, family, and friends, thank you for the support. This is all for you. Aww. Yeah, yeah right into the special thanks. Good and breezy. Made in Game Maker Studio. Okay, so it wasn't a custom solution, but they did change engines. Mm-hmm. Buying Yisbert games. Am I actually in control at all? I don't. Probably if I hit escape. No, we are just stuck here. Alright. I wasn't rushing out of here, but. Uh... Did you have fun? I did. Well, Thank you, game. Well, that's good. Oh. I probably hit past one thing. Yep, I also met a cat boom. Got to me a cat boomer. No, this is Gabby and Boss. Uh, Gabby and Jill talking. Hmm. She's that kind of person. Now it's sleep. You were dosing off back there. It's, it's like when they're talking after talking over the credits with the uh, or they're talking in voiceover while something else is happening on screen or it's just a black mm -hmm. screen. Yeah. yeah, you're right. Good night, Jill. We'll play some more tomorrow. Good night. Gracias, Peluche. I'm sure I look, I've looked that up before, but... Oh, no, this is a... I think, reference to, again, Nirvana. Or a prelude to that.
There we go. And now we're going to start going through uh, the endings we earned. February 3rd, oh my. This is good. Really good. You have no idea how long I've waited for some curry. I remember I met some meant to eat some, but then I had to pay for some drinks and I spilled it on the floor. That screwed up my budget. It's the least I can do after being such an obnoxious client. <laughs> I, I, am, I am sincerely digging his shades right now. <laughs> the best part. Achievement unlocked. Tim's curry. <laughs> yeah, about that. Mind if I ask something, Mr. Timothy Mercury? <laughs> so, you know. It's a small city. Turns out two very grateful girls soon became regulars, and both of them were related to you. So what's your question, bartender? Call me Jill. Two questions, actually. The first one is, why did they brand you a, a tr as a traitor? Because you killed the other guy? I don't know. Sounds weird considering the other guy assaulted two little girls. It was a cover-up. The guy was my superior. A high-ranking officer like him assaulting innocent civilians? That would be unthinkable. On paper, at least. Yeah. So I think uh, Virgilio here is uh, one of the white knights that saved Say when she was a kid. Back from that uh, first story way uh, back when. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. On record, it hurt the girls and killed him before another unit subdued me. Then I escaped from their custody. In reality... Lipsis. That's all I need to know. Sorry for bringing that up. Did you have another question? Yeah. How did you build this restaurant so fast? It's a small city. Turns out two very grateful girls tracked me down to thank me. One of them was rich, and the other noticed I smelled like curry. <laughs> Those two really are nice girls, huh? They didn't deserve what that bastard did to them. Excuse me? Oh, speaking of the angels. Timmy, two special curries, please. Oh, hi, Jill. Yay. January 20th. Oh, God, I can't believe I'm actually here. The concert will begin any second now. Yeah. Wow, wow I've never... Yeah. No. Go for it. Wow, I've never seen her so openly excited before. Don't talk too loudly, or you'll startle her. It's always nice to see her so happy. She doesn't give a damn and lets herself go. Achievement unlocked. Listen to my song. Digging the hair. Yeah. You sure you don't mind me? Of course not. That way I won't be the only one with little clues to what's going on. <laughs> it is true that you've served this kid or Mickey girl at the bar. As amazing as it sounds. Really nice girl, if a bit oblivious to the risks some people represent. Mm. I like uh, still with uh, four pen lights in each hand. Yep. How so? Uh, she doesn't mind stalkers and such. Oh. How's your wounds? Arms doing fine, eyes healing nicely, and I can sleep better at night. Oh, that's good. The night terrors have stopped. Just what transpired inside that bank. It's not important anymore. What's important is that Stella will get me a job after I heal. She will? She's rebuilding a new armor set for me and wants me to be her bodyguard. I'd be paid for something I do anyways, and I'll get to spend more time with her. That's nice. I'd like to spread out and help more people, but it's a nice start. You want to be a vigilante, then? Maybe. Maybe we do a little vigilantism. Yeah, she's coming out! It's her! It's actually her! Look, it started. Are you here, Jill? This song is for you! I ain't never gonna stop loving you, bitch. What? Ugh. I can't believe you actually made me do that sleepover thing. You didn't have to accept, you know. Shut up. 
I'm having a good time. See, even Gabby is having fun. Relax a bit. Yeah, whatever. Uh, look at that. You know, Alma, you remind me a bit of my sis. I do? How? You always managed to get a reaction from Jill. Sis always said Jill was acknowledging your presence is the best way to know if she likes you. You're talking too much, Gabby. Ah, It's different with you, though. With my sis, Jill's more frustrated. Like this one time where, where she bought her a shirt that... You're talking too much, little girl. Oh, is that where we got the slut shirt? A shirt that what? That had a pick of a cucumber on it. Wow! <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> uh, cucumber. Um, ow, just what are you doing with my hair? Sorry, it got stuck in one of my fingers. You know how it is. Seriously. So I'm a bit like Lenore, then. N no, you just remind me of her a bit. Moreover, my sister wasn't uh, as, um, as... As... Ass. What this girl is trying to say is that with your tits and ass, you could build a Lenore and a half out of the mass. That just means there's enough to share with both of you. Sh share? You're talking too much, Alma. Boyd into a sleepover with the girls. Yep. So yeah, the guy had a fantasy about a woman castrating him. Picking up that story. I tried for an hour to convince him it's a bad idea and finally got, got to him. We finally moved to the bedroom and it turns out the guy has, has, has a weird implant where his testicles should be. It's basically a removable ball sack. I suppose the guy really liked that fantasy and made sure he could live it out properly. I once saw a guy at the hospital in the emergency room after having been castrated to fulfill a fantasy. <laughs> I wonder if it's the same guy. I have enough problems with just one, you know? Just one what? One ball? Eh, um... <laughs> With just listening to one of your anecdotes. You told me about the Neo Tijuana thing, and now this. Don't you have a more subdued story? Yeah. These last two I've unlocked before. Uh, what was this one called? I think this one was No One Expects the Dorothy Inquisition. Nah. Uh, if we get a game over, it's Cozy Hell, because <laughs> we move in with Alma and sh her tits get everywhere. Oh my. Sisterly Bonding is uh, the Alma one. Oh, uh, okay. Come on, Joe, you're an adult. You can take that much. Shut up. Well, last time I spoke with my mom and, and asked her the story of her daughter. Turns out her name was Anna. Huh. And now you pretend it's a surprise? Quiet, you. She fought against the machine rejection for most of her life. She even lost a girlfriend she made in the hospital to that same sickness. Let's now she's see. being quiet. Apparently sometime after she got out of treatment, a truck hit her and killed her. Truck? Oh, no! She just got released from the hospital. We've been over this, truck gun. Enough is enough! Can you at least not cause real world... Tra Can you at least leave the real world tragedies alone? But even then, she was amazing. Did you have some of them? Uh, nah, I'm done. <laughs> she was? Eh? Yeah, she kept up her studies while still in the hospital. She was a self-taught honor student. Not only that, but she also ranked among the top five candidates in at least three college ad admission exams. She, was also, she also played the piano and guitar. Well, being confined to a room does that, I guess. I mean... A fully able-bodied people can barely do half of that. But she practically accomplished all that by herself. And she also beat now machine rejection, a disease that only 2% of humans suffer and even less survive. It took a trucking truck to take her down. She was great, and I think I'm sort of like her sister. Ellipses. Heh. <laughs> Silly Becky. Honey, did you say something? 
I did not. All right, people can hear her if they want to. Weird. I swear I heard someone call me Silly Becky. Surprise. Come again? It's not uncommon for me to hear stuff from far away and think I've heard it nearby, but... You're the only one nearby that knows my real name, so that was weird. Oh well, as I was saying, the ball sack guy. <laughs> I think it's 27. Oh boy. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday. Mm. I guess this is where we part ways, huh? Sadly, I'm bound to the city. I can only falsify my identity effectively around here. I really want to thank you, Chief, for the second chance you gave me. If you ever cross paths again, I... Yo, we're leaving for like a week and a half or something. Don't be so dramatic. But I... And you're taking care of my apartment. We will cross paths because I live there. The time you spend setting up a useless farewell could be used asking me things about the place. Like where the switches and valves are. But I already know, they're in that control panel you made. But I like talking about that control panel. I'm proud of it. Speaking of obsessive likes... Jill, stop calling Armitage. She's, she'll take care of your four ball just fine. I'm not worried about him. I'm worried about me. I've never been away from four this long. I don't know what I'll do. You'll do just fine. You did pretty well for the last twenty, for at least twenty-five years before finding him. Yes, but we're leaving. Oh yeah, before I forget, I left you a box of condoms on the first drawer in the desk, Gil. You what? You what? Hey, if he wants to bring his new girlfriend or whatever, here I want him to be ready. Oh, but just one condition. If you're gonna fuck like rabbits, stay away from my room. I have too many pics of my Emoto there and I don't want their eyes soiled. You do have a natural little sister, don't you, Dana? Emo who? Emo what? Little sister. And just say little sister. No. Yeah, whatever. First stop, Panama. And Van Halen. And now for something completely different. Was that achievement? Yeah. Here you can save heart data. Loading heart data from the tile screen or, or bar will let you start over from the day one while keeping your items and money. Thank you for playing. Well, let's uh, get a New Game Plus save in there. There we go. So we're just about done. There's just one more uh, little epilogue story to tell. Okay. And there's Gabby. Ah. With us on the tile screen, which is why I Aww. had to wipe my save data before we played together. <laughs> to not spoil it. Aw. Look at that. That's real sweet. So we come over to Anna, and then... Uh... Right, demo was uh, the thing we did already. Start. Sunday, January 1st. Yep, so this is exactly what I meant. Uh, you can do, or you can do Anna, I'll do Jill. Hey, Ford, leave Gabby alone. Let her sleep. Happy New Year! Mm. I said, Happy New Year! Mm. Ham, I said, I heard you. I heard you the first time. Then answer the first time, would you? Don't be rude. You trespass into my house, and I'm the rude one. Let's uh, appreciate Gabby for a moment here. That's that's adorable. I love it. <laughs> I didn't trespass. I just showed up here. That's tr that's trespassing. Trespassing implies passing. I just appeared here, thus there is no passing. And how exactly did you do that? Oh, hey, you're talking to me directly. Don't change the subject. I'm so happy you're not pulling that whole telepath crap. You're the one being a telepath. But I can't read minds. I can read words, however. It... Huh? No, what I mean is that I'm not... The one reading thoughts, so I'm not. Ah, forget it. No. 
Why are you here? Yep. Anna's trying to get across that she's uh, she knows that she's a video game character, basically, and was reading the text scroll, the text boxes. I like it. I wanted to wish you a happy new year. So you were bored. Being bored has nothing to do with me wishing you happy holidays. But it helps. I won't deny that. Still, you deserve some congratulations, Joe. You closed off an old chapter of your life and grew as a person. That always deserves some cheers. In fact, let's make a toast. Gain some EXP. Mind if I grab a beer? I do, actually. I don't want to clean beer off the floor. You don't know if that's what'll happen. Trust me, I know. But the toast! It's the thought that counts. Let's leave it at that. Sheesh. Oh, hey, kitty. Hi, Forbel. I wonder if Four can see you. With cats, you never know. Oh, he's up on the table now, too. Hmm. He might see me, or he might be seeing an interesting speck of dust. Hey, Joe, let's play a game. What kind of game? Truth or truth. Don't you mean truth or dare? No, dares with me wouldn't be too fun, I'm guessing. We ask questions to each other, and we can't lie. You'll even get your ever-so-precious dialogue choices. Ain't that nice? You get to choose what you're going to say? Oh, amazing. What a great innovation. That we've been robbed of this entire game. I know. The what now? I'm thinking out loud. Don't mind me. Right. Will you keep your word on that? I don't lie. Fine, I'll play with you. Great, you start. Hmm. We have dialogue choices. So this is what this is, is we get to uh, get some dialogue out of Anna, some actual uh, cutting through bullshit. And not, then not not just her being a huge troll. A little still a little bit of that. All right. But uh and if we want, we can do this uh, until we've exhausted all the di dialogue. Oh, all right. Takes two or three passes. All right. Uh, what are you? Just what are you? A cute girl. That's not what I meant. Well, I'm also from a Catholic family, although I'm not religious. Not what I meant either. I'm also very gay and like girls a lot. I sure have figured you wouldn't take the question seriously. Yeah, but did you think that maybe those are the answers I have? Hmm? There's things I know about myself. Why am I like this is not one of those things. I got out of the hospital, got hit by something, and here I am. Why I'm in this state? Hell if I know. Sorry if I sounded rude. You were just your charming usual self, Joe. Hmm. Well then, my turn. Do you like your boss? I do. No, do you like like your boss? Mm-hmm. Both of you go to a romantic dinner. The mood is right. Do you do you say you love her? Well. Mood escalated. You're both nude in a room. Do you have sex? Um. Why so hesitant all of a sudden? Because he took me off guard. No, that's not it. Joe, do you really like your boss like that? I do. Okay, let's say you have the chance to have sex with blondie sweater pups. I'd do it. Do you see the hesitation now? I can't believe you just have a teen crush on your boss. <laughs> it's so adorable. It's not a... You like her and love her, but hesitate at the thought of fucking. You admire her and want her with you, but won't go deeper. It's called friendship. Edging on teen crush. Mm. Let's move on to the next question before you short circuit. Why am I the only one that can see you, or do you have any regrets? 
Hmm. I feel like the regrets one might get us more answers right now. Do you have any regrets? Don't we all? Any in particular that come to mind? Stuff you really want to fix? My mom. My dad left, so when I died, I was worried about leaving her by herself. Luckily, then came Becky. <sighs> and then Becky feared she might be hurting my mom with her presence. I guess I have to thank you for that. Becky fixed her relationship with my mom. Lynette's mom was able to close her chapter too. It was all thanks to you speaking with her. It's not a big deal. But yeah, with Becky being closer to my mom, I can't think of anything else. Just the usual scars, the stuff we use to grow up. The things we can't fix. Say, Joe, did you lie to that Gabby girl? About what? About staying with her, how you wouldn't leave her alone and all that. I didn't. She's asleep, she can't hear me. You can be honest with me. All right, I'll tell you the truth. Hmm? Just between us, I didn't lie. Eh. Heh. The time I spent with Lenore was also the time I spent with Be Gabby. Since Lenore was pretty much the one that raised her, she was always there. We'd play, read together, watch TV. I don't know, she felt like a little sister, or a daughter. But one, one of the things that hurt me the most when Gabby reappeared was her hate. It's never nice when the one you love suddenly hates you with reason. So yeah, why the hell would I lie about that? It's a relief to hear that. She's cute. She'll grow into a fine lady. Was her sister as cute? Lenore was in a league of her own. Something I must see then. Any other questions? <laughs> Sounds like we're going for, with uh, option one. I mean, I know what the funny, funny question is. No, nope. we'll come back for the other two later. Yep. Okay, let's get this over with. Your next words will be, do you watch me masturbate? Don't read ahead, Anna. <laughs> do you watch me... Nani? <laughs> the fuck? That question was going to come up at some point. And the answer is... Survey says... Is... Ellipses. Um... I'm building suspense. Just answer. No. Why not? I meant that I don't watch you masturbate. Huh. Why not? Why not? Why do you sound so surprised? With the stuff you say, can you blame me? I have a sense of personal space too, you know. I don't want to see that shit. And there's a line between pestering and being an asshole. Not that I'd be against the idea of watching you, mind you. Should that flatter me? Take it as you will. I'm surprised you believe me, though. At one point, I just gave up and started taking you as you come. And you didn't start suddenly joking about how you watch me masturbate. That means it's something you wouldn't joke about and thus not lie. You've been thinking about that question for a long time, haven't you? You know... Maybe. Well, to ask something in the same vein. Let's say you have the chance to have sex with any person you want. One night of action until your body crumbles. Who do you pick? Hmm. Your boss? I wonder. Blondie sweater pups? Please be quiet for a second. It's not the riddle of the Sphinx, Joe. I guess I'd pick... Have you ever heard of an actress named Gloria? Gloria? Oh my god. You too? Hmm? I've been a huge fan of Gloria for a long time. She's such a talented actress, such a charismatic person. But more importantly, she's hot as all hell. Still is, thank god she didn't prune like other actresses do. I'm surprised you pick her over everyone else. I mean, if I could pick anyone, I may as well pick someone I don't even know. 
yet. Yet? Uh, you might get to know her. You never know. True. I got to know an idol after all. Well, you're yawning. I'm sure as hell ain't boring, so it must be because of the hour. Let you be. For now. Hey, Anna. Um, you have a happy new year, too. And if you want to bother me, I do get bored in here from time to time. Uh, yeah. That. You call me by my name. On second thought... Don't be like that. I'll take your offer and pester you some more later. Hell, I'll do it even if you say nothing. Oh dear. Hey, Joe, can you open the door for me? Just disappear like how you came in. Come on, humor me. Fine. There. Thank you. Bye, Joe. Take care. Sometimes I wonder if this is a sign to stop drinking. Are you drunk now? A bit. And that's the real end of the game. And we can uh, go, go through some other options now. Alright. See the rest of these uh, pieces. I think we've technically like unlocked um, some file somewhere, but uh, we can go right back through to the questions. How much of your story is true? Say how much of your story is true. It depends on what you mean by my story. A couple of weeks back when you showed up the first time at the bar, that whole hospital thing, how much of that is true? How much do you think is true? That's not an answer. I could say all of it, but I could be lying. Truth depends on either facts or trust. And since that question shows a lack of trust, there are only facts left. I believe you have enough facts to form yourself an opinion on what's true. Mm. Your lack of trust hurts me, Joe. I really like you. Just ask your Just question. Dead. Ask your question. What will you do after the bar closes? I've been looking into the other bar boss told me about. It's a bit far, but I can manage. Let me rephrase the question a bit. Do you plan on being a bartender the rest of your life? Is this your calling? I don't know. The bar closing is the chance to retake your life to do whatever you want. Don't you have any dreams to follow? I don't know. And are you okay with that, not knowing? Yes, actually. Oh? My biggest regrets arose from those worries. But I've come to realize that running directionless is worse. What's more, I've been doing fine just managing things one at a time. So that's what... Uh, I'll do until I know what I want to do. You do know I'm the one hearing you and acting cool amounts to nothing. Whatever. I get to ask something now, right? Yep. Does anyone else know of your state? So have you met anyone else in your state? My state? A ghost. I ain't no ghost. I ain't heard no ghost. Poltergeist, Imp, Brat, you know what I mean. Hey, I've met many rarities in my current state. Like this weird thing I keep seeing popping up in my field of view. It flies everywhere and sometimes tries to touch me indecently. Nope. <laughs> Would she someone like me? <laughs> no. All considering I don't even know why I'm like this. She does mean the mouse, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, fourth wall breaks. Fourth wall? What fourth wall? No. You read that line? No. Yes. Uh, who knows? I might have met someone already. The closest thing is that brat, I guess, but... Can't think of anyone, no. You do know that dropping vague pronouns like that is annoying, right? 
I'm just thinking out loud. Don't think too much about it. If you want to think about something, what are your New Year's resolutions? I have none. That can't be right. Everyone has New Year's resolutions. It's the only thing that reminds people if they want to be better. Even if they don't do any of the stuff they say they will. But it's the wish, the intention that counts. Yep, can't think of any. Lose weight? I'm fine. Quit smoking? Hell no. Speak more with your parents. I'm good. Make this cat lose weight. <laughs> Jesus. Hmm. That sounds like a good goal. I, whole I whole <laughs> yeah. so you do it. I wholeheartedly disagree. Oh? Crap. Did you just... I did nothing. You just pretended your cat talked. Did not. You did. Quiet. Well, you're yawning. And so on and so forth. Thanks, Joe. You have a good holiday. Bye. Take care. Uh, I think there was just one or two left. Yeah. Or it may have been down one branch, even. Yeah, there was, there was one more branch that had two other uh, options on it. So let's uh, make sure we get all of them. Right, yeah, so there was more down this way. Why am I right, the only right. one can see you? Okay, why am I the only one that can see you? Oh, sorry. Yep. Keep on. Alright, don't be so pretentious. You're not the only one that can see me. You're the only one among the people close to you. Still, why? Beats me. I don't even know why I'm like this. I do have a theory, though. Maybe the ones that can see me are the ones I wish could see me. How so? The day I entered the bar, I thought you were cute. Maybe I want you to see me so hard that you were able to. It was hard to contain my surprise, to be honest. I've tried to get some people to see me, but maybe something holds me back. So you make the, those things happen with your mind? It's still a theory. I don't have any solid basis for these speculations. I mean, Beth could see me, so... Who's Beth? A very nice girl. Oh. Speaking of nice girls, what's so cool about your boss? How so? What makes you all giddy about her? <clears throat> well, she's so strong, you know? Not only physically, but mentally, too. She's steadfast, reliable, charismatic, fun to be with. She's everything I'm not. She makes you feel safe when, while you're with her. I mean, how can you not see it? I haven't spent enough time with her, I guess. Jeez, you got pretty excited there. Maybe. Do you have any hobbies? Do you have any hobbies? Uh, do not talk, to, talk about me in past tense. Uh, do you have any hobbies? Well, back when I had a solid body, I liked tabletop games. Oh, we can get along there. Really? Yeah, like the one where you push someone on it, raise her legs, and... <laughs> That's one weird way of playing Monopoly. <laughs> Anything for Athena Avenue. Hey, the, the game just says negotiate, make any deals you want. Yep. It's well within the rules. The only thing I remember I liked doing were pranks. No shit. It's so fun to see how people react to them. The setup, the deception, the payoff, it's like art. Chef's kiss. Right. right. I did have some limits, though. If I know something would make someone cry, it's out of the question. If it puts them at any risk, it's out of the question. And if it causes trouble to too many outsiders, it's out of the question. That sounds sensible. Of course, pranks are no good if only the prankster has fun with them. Then you're just a bully. Any prank you regret doing? In elementary school, I hit a bee in a boy's backpack. He was allergic. Oh, no. Nothing terrible happened, but yeah. 
My turn then. How was the party? I was busy. You busy? I can be busy. Ghosts can have a rich internal life. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I saw you get your big moment and talk about cucumbers. I didn't say anything about cucumbers. That's all in my head. <clears throat> uh, but that was a break from other stuff I was doing. Is this here another break? This is a well-earned rest. Good for you. Party was fun. Not a crazy thing. Just a chill time. Food, drinks, and friends. And a couple of dogs. Boss almost burned the place down, saying off her totally legal fireworks, quote-unquote. Gil brought his girlfriend, and I still can't believe who she was. Dorothy brought some acquaintances, too. Really nice people, if a bit gaudy. Alma and I... Not the, the, whoopsies. What? You and Sweater Pups what? Nothing. I just realized how nice it felt to say I, I have friends. Ellipses. Oh. Holy shit, that's some corny ass line right there. We're, we're working our way up. We we were at a baseline. Now we just corny is what we've got. Yep. It's true, though. It's the first time the friendship has felt real. There are people I can trust, people that trust me, people that can get invested into outside of my family. That's such an awesome feeling. Like I said, that's goddamn cheesy. Uh, warms the heart. That said, am I your friend, Joe? Maybe. Give it more time. <laughs> no, but seriously, you and Sweater Pups did what? Take pics. Boring. Were they nudes? No. Boring. <laughs> well, then, next question. You're yawning. Nope. Oh. Must be the hour. Well, it should be for now. I feel like there was one in here about uh, "Do you hate me, Joe?" Yeah. Did did we get that one? I don't think we got that. One. I remember seeing that one, but I didn't. It didn't show up. Fine. I remember. I remember the first time through that. La that last set of questions had a third option that wasn't here. All right. I think I t picked both of the top options that time. So let's uh, yeah mix it up a little bit. All right. I th I think we've got it all though. Yeah, I'll check one more time. Hi there, hi there. Hello, cat. Uh, what are you? Do you have any regrets? So I want one and then two. Yeah. What do you there like? So what do you like? Girls. Boys are icky. It's not a wrong answer, but not the one I was looking for. So, likes in general? Mm-hmm. Well, I like pizza with lots of mushrooms. I like stockings that go up to the thigh. And a little squish. I like long hair, even though I prefer to have it short. I like small animals, but I like really big ones more. I really like flowery perfumes. I don't like stuffed animals, as weird as it sounds. I like tall girls, or at least those taller than me. I also like the smell of freshly cut grass. I like the sound of a cat's purr. I like to laugh and to make people laugh. And of course, I like you, or I wouldn't be here. That's a concise list. Speaking of likes, do you like what you see? Come again? Do you like what you see? If you saw me on the street, would you hit on me? I doubt it. That's a lie, and you know it. I wouldn't. It's like, well, my nightlight turned on, so it's messing with the view. Ah. Liar, I'm hot. Nobody's denying that, but I wouldn't. Why not? For starters, I'm not the one to hit... I'm not one to hit on strangers, let alone hit on a girl in a fucking sailor uniform. Like you wouldn't fuck a girl in a sailor uniform. Do you mean... I mean that in any way that phrase can be taken as. <laughs> Let me rephrase this then. 
Would I be able to make you look at me so hard you couldn't avert your gaze? Yes, happy. I am. So much, in fact, that I'll let you ask something else. I, I think we've managed to do it. I think so. Will you keep fucking with me? So how long will you keep fucking with me? I don't know. We haven't even started. You wanna? <laughs> Can you do anything in your current state? Finding out would be half the fun, wouldn't you say? <laughs> fucking with me, pestering me, appearing out of the blue here. Will you keep doing that? I can answer that, but first I need you to answer something. What? Do you hate me, Joe? Okay, yes, yeah, so this is going to be the last one. Isn't this like the third time you've asked this? Then maybe I haven't gotten a clear answer. Mm. You made me spill some drinks that were discounted from my paycheck. You still sore about that? I really wanted curry that week, and that stunt left me broke. There's also the fact that your jokes made a fool out of me too many times. Not to mention that your existence is mind-breaking. If you're a hallucination, then I'm going mad, and that's no good. If you're not, then that opens up a whole new can of worms. If you're a ghost, then science has to rethink where it's going. If you're something else, then what? How? Why? Not to mention you turn anything into any innuendo and might be too horny. Go on. But I have no reason to hate you. Your demeanor is no different from many other regulars of the bar. Hell, talking to you is fun in a really messed up way. I don't feel like your actions come from trying to be too mean and you're cute. So yeah, I don't hate you. Well, to answer your question, yes, I will keep bugging you. Can you at least keep it here instead of the bar? Uh, then I wouldn't be doing a good job of bugging you, right? Mm. Can't ask permission for that kind of thing. Glad to know you don't hate me. It's fun to be around you, and I'd be sad if I annoyed you too much. Don't push your luck, though. Well, yeah. And... There we go. Have a happy new year, too. There we go. There. Thank you. Bye, Joe. Take care. Stop drinking junk now, but I think that... There we are. We, we went through all the options, so we got a new thing. All right. Truth is such a weird thing. Oh, hello? It can change as you learn more and more facts. But what, what if those facts change? What if the facts get tampered with? Do you trust the source of your facts? Is that trust keeping you blind from the truth? Truth and trust are always tied together. And it's with that in mind that I give you this advice. From now on, if you want the truth, you'll have to trust me. Ominous. See you at Treyas Celsius. Sequel bait, sequel bait. Hey. All right. And that's the game. Yeah. You're free to do what you want on Tuesday nights now. Ooh. I don't know what that's going to mean right now. <laughs> I might finish Mist first. I don't know. I was uh, I was I was considering following this up with Paradise Killer, but I think I want something a little less uh, visual novelly for a week or two. That's give reasonable. Throat, yeah. Give my throat a rest. That's reasonable. Uh, Paradise Killer is semi voice, but I'd still have to read a lot of stuff out loud. So, yeah. oh. and and that was with us splitting up the work. Exactly. So. <laughs> oh. Well, that went pretty well, all things ah, considered. That was good. We only, we only, we only, the game only randomly crashed on us about three times. Yeah, surprisingly. So not too bad there. No, I think this one is one of the games that has emotionally crushed me the first time through. I, I, I can see that. Yeah. Uh... I must have been 27 at the time. And uh, having a protagonist the same age as me is always a surefire killer 
Yeah, I, I, I was um, a few years ago. I was watching Re Life, and I had a realization that me and the main character are the same age, and it oomph to it for that being true. Mm-hmm. Have that that cup happened to me with a couple of titles like uh, Summer Wars? I think I watched around eight, age eighteen. Uh, Shirobako is only off by one year, so that's close enough. I'll do it. And now I gotta look out for uh, protagonists that are 30. Yep. I'm, I'm thinking of like uh, the teacher in uh, Toradora who's 25 and, and a Christmas cake, as this game calls it. Ah, uh, yes. Uh. Meanwhile, you're just thinking, child. Literal oh, child. you think 25 is old? Uh, yeah. you don't. You don't know what's up. Ugh. Exactly. So yeah, that's that's it from the, us this week, and I get yeah. I get my Tuesday nights back. Exactly. You can go do something else. Uh, yeah. what have we got going on in the future? Uh, Megan's back to streaming tomorrow, and is yes. doing a uh, League of Legends thing. Oh yeah. Uh, some story-based League of Legends thing. I think with like the the maritime focused. Uh, characters, if I remember okay. correctly, it might be a, just like I'm getting that from Ruined King and thinking like Sunken Ruin. Uh, oh, all right, yes, there's that. Uh, Jet streaming on Thursday to do some Astral Chain. Uh, new episode of Summer at the Movies on Friday. Uh, it's gonna be Lupin the Third, the first. It's not confusing. Don't worry about it. That makes perfect sense. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. And then, yeah, I think Bruce is doing something on Sunday, Saturday. Sounds right. Yeah, there, I think there's a stream we on We really Saturday. should have pulled up that schedule we posted, shouldn't we? Yeah. We, we went through the effort of making it and putting it in our mentions. Let's see, hold on. I have access to the internet. Let's see if it cooperates with me for, for two minutes. Sorry, right, it's Jamal that's streaming Thursday. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Saturday. I think it was. Yes. It is Jamal that's streaming for the first time in a long time. Yes. It's going to be Tiny Tina's Wonderland. Get oh to boy. enjoy uh, some Ashley Birch. Indeed. And uh, Gearbox games. And then uh, Sunday's going to be Steph and Andrew. Pokemon, I the sequel. I, I've managed to finish that game now, and I'm working my way through uh, getting the platinum trophy. Fancy. So, it's going faster than I thought it would. I just need to go through a bunch of the uh, Somniums again. All right. Do the special stuff there. Uh, yeah. So that finishes up for us tonight. All right. I wonder if um, Yuzbrid is live again, because I tend to be live on around this time. They are, in fact, and they're playing Stray. There we go. So that's the uh, cat game. Everyone, everyone loves the cat game. Cat game, cat game. All right. Uh, let me do it this way. Raid Yuzbrid games. The raid's been created. So. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. We'll uh, see you around in the future. Indeed. Y'all have a good night.